Welcome to Koskinen Stadium, the home of the Duke Blue Devils here in Durham, North Carolina, where the fifth-ranked Blue Devils take on an upstart top 20 team in the nation in the Boston University Terriers. The Terriers roll into Koskinen red hot and look to find their fourth straight win, their second straight against a top five team in the country. Welcome into the booth with former Duke attackman David Keefe. My name's Connor Young, and like I just said, a top 20 matchup here in Durham, highly anticipated, and it sure could shake up the NCAA Division I standings. It absolutely is, and like you said, David, they have proven the Terriers that they can beat any team in the country. Just one game ago, they toppled the then first-ranked Army Black Knights and handed them their first loss of the yeah, season. And they did. You see Will Barnes, 15 saves on the day, just an outstanding performance. Someone that Duke has been used to getting outstanding performances for a while now. How about Brennan O'Neill? O'Neal for the Blue Devils. Number one priority to stop for the Boston defense. Yeah. Let's quickly turn our attention to the face-off percentages for both these teams before we get underway. Something that definitely favors the home team and the Blue Devils. In both of their losses to Bryan and Navy earlier this season, Boston outdone on the face-off. Duke successful on the clear. And they'll answer back right away. Quick strike offense for the Duke Blue Devils as they make their way past the 30 into the attacking end and waste no time depositing the rubber in the back of the net. As much as we've talked about it being a tough day out there for the players, I mean, a tough day for the officials too. I mean, to try to differentiate between what's a trip, what's a slip. What was it? Trip. So yeah, it looked like the long stick of Will Frasoli tripped up Perfetto. I did, I did think I saw some contact with the leg. It was hard to tell if it was warranting a trip or not. Nevertheless, that's the call and there's the score. D'Alto draws things even once again as the Terriers and Blue Devils having trouble separating from each other in this back and forth affair. Not a lot of time to work with on the shot clock for Duke. It's been a long possession. Oh my, Tom Bins, what a snipe. That's an ESPN highlight reel there, Woo! right there. That was an incredible shot, and again, a cannon from the from the freshman. Two underclassmen, Johnston and Sloat. Back to full strength. Every possession at this point in the game, that much more important, feels that much more valuable as Duke looks to make this one count. Shot wide. Yeah, they just got to put, the, put it on there. Taking a lot of shots, they're just missing. They got to get them on cage. Possession stays with the Devils. O'Neal. Working the near side. What a move! And the score! Brennan O'Neal! He's made a career off plays like that! And a huge score for Duke! We are live from Koskinen Stadium in Durham, North Carolina for a high-powered clash of two ACC perennial powerhouses as the Duke University Blue Devils host the fourth nationally ranked Boston College Eagles. The Eagles look to bounce back after suffering a home upset loss, and the Blue Devils, they look to keep the good times rolling at Koskinen Stadium. Following that most recent Boston College loss to Notre Dame, the ACC standings were certainly shaken up as we take a look. Syracuse reigns supreme. The 4-0 Orange are on top. Virginia and Boston College nipping at the heels of Syracuse. Notre Dame surging up the ladder after that upset win. And Duke looks to separate themselves from the middle of the pack and do the same. Welcome into the booth. My name's Connor Young, joined by Debbie Taylor. And Debbie, if history is any indication for how these two are going to match up today, we will have a fun one on our hands. They really are. And if the Duke offense wants to pace this Boston College unit. They are going to need Katie DeSimone. Katie DeSimone, she's a senior. She's from Long Island, and she is a pure scorer and a skilled facilitator who is leading the nation with 57 points and 44 goals. She also has 244 career points, which is sixth best in the Duke record books. Her seven goals and four assists in a high point victory earlier this year earned her ACC Player of the Year. She is exciting to watch. She can certainly put it in the back of the net. Rachel Clark is the engine of the most dynamic offense in the country for my money, Debbie. And this Boston attack would not have that top tier pedigree without Rachel Clark. That 200 point milestone, such an accomplishment. We're moments away from the opening draw from Koskinen Stadium. The Duke Blue Devils sporting their classic home white. The Eagles in the crimson. These two ACC powerhouses look to lock horns. Start off this ACC matchup. 
Reynolds on the dodge into the eight, and Reynolds will score. Three chances for the Eagles, three scores. Back to back to back, hot start for Boston College. Five unanswered to open us up here in Durham, North Carolina for the Boston Eagles. Duke looking to break into the score sheet for the first time today. Another long possession, shot clock winding down, diving into the crease and scoring. Duke answers back. It's taking a while for them to set up because there's just nowhere to go with it. They look to go back to that pass over from X for the quick trigger shot. That's how they scored their lone goal of the game today. Not able to complete it and wouldn't have completed it in time even if it did find the stick of DeSimone. Talk about the efficiency on the clearance for BC today. I mean, it feels like it's just a given every time that they're able to find position in their defensive end. They move through the 30s with a breeze. And they have so much speed in the midfield. We talked about Bell Smith and Cassidy Weeks, graduate student and a senior. Experience, their midfield is just, just exceptional. Eight for eight on the clear for BC and add another for the Eagles double digits with 750 left to go in the second quarter as BC back to back unanswered in quarter number two much like we saw in the opening 15 join us back after this break Colasanti gives it off nice pass nice save by Kaufman you know, Kaufman for me, the biggest bright spot for the Duke Blue Devils today, coming off the bench and turning away a couple of really good scoring opportunities for BC, which they have had their fair share of. There's gonna be a green card warranted. That's gonna go against the Eagles. Shea Baker, the sophomore. That'll give Duke a little power play here. Player up opportunity. of the Duke offense that certainly needed some help and they're gonna get it. 60 seconds of a player advantage. Green card has been assessed to Boston College number 14, Shea Baker. This is a chance, Debbie, where if you're Duke, I feel like you really want to at least put a quality goal scoring chance on Dolce. You are able to get one of your first player advantages of the game have possession in the attacking end, you gotta have something productive happen here. Yeah, this is a much critical opportunity here for Duke. Put a little daylight in front of Cage, and there they go. <laughs> Lexi Smoltz <laughs> takes advantage of the player advantage as Duke will find their first in the second quarter. Second of the game. And that Boston lead will drop down to eight. 